When you don't buy Ram football season tickets, you get bored. When you get bored, you help with your kid's fundraiser. When you help with the fundraiser, you get left behind. When you get left behind, you have to find new friends. When you find new friends, you try to fit in. And when you try to fit in, you break dance. Don't break dance. Buy your season tickets today. Go to csurams.com or call 1-800-491-RAMS. Back here inside Coast BMW in Loveland for another edition of the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain. Brian Roth back with you with the coach Jim McElwain. Again, 22-7, the final score from this past Saturday. We're going to get you in that Ram locker room here in just a moment. But you know, it's, it's kind of what you've been talking about. you got to move on. you got to move on. It doesn't matter if it's a big win. You move on the next week, and it doesn't matter if it's a loss. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. You just move on. And I imagine that will be the big key for you this week. It will be. And, and uh... You know, like I tell our guys, it, it, it's about every day and what you do every day to prepare yourself to be excellent. And, you know, I think we lost a little bit of that. You know, I, I, as we talked uh, before, you know, the game, I mean, Tuesday we had to start over. You know, Thursday I had to bring them together. But, you know, I think that the way they felt and the pain that they felt is something that will actually help us. In other words, there's no reason to feel this way as long as we take care of our business. Do, do teaching lessons maybe sink in more after losses than they do with wins? They absolutely do. And, and you know, yet at the same time, you have to be ready to, and, and want to learn. I mean, that, that's really a key is, is to be driven to, to make sure that, that what are we going to take from this? And... You know, this will tell you a lot about the unity of the team. This will tell you about the family that we've built. Uh, how do they respond? Because, you know, a lot of times uh, true character is shown in, in times when, the, when they're rough. And a lot of times guys will turn and run the other way. Um, you know, we're prepared not to let that happen and, uh, and, and get those guys going in the right direction. All right, let's get you into that Ram locker room from Saturday. Well, the fans continue to stream in and file into Sunny Living Field at Hughes Stadium. There is a big, big Bison contingent. This is Crockett Gilmore with the completion. He's got it to the 10, to the 5. Is he going to make it? Touchdown! It's hard to miss a wide open guy, especially when he's 6'6", you know, so he's put it anywhere in his area and he's going to catch it and take it to the house. So. Come out and push him down a little bit and then they come right back and hit you in the mouth, you know. Uh, I think I think we did get our heads a little high for a second there and then we're going to dwell on it for this next few hours and then clap it off and get ready for this next week's game. Uh, it's not about what they did, it's about what we did and we're going to take care of business. As Gilmore wide open 40 at the 45, made a man miss all the way out to midfield and he's hopped tied down as he got it into Bison territory. First down and 10 from the 40, Rocket running right side, Barrett able to get his hands on him, drag him down. Well, it was not nothing that we didn't go off, go over and practice. He just was physical and was able to execute what they did. We like knew everything he was going to do, but he just was still able to execute. We didn't have a very good week of practice, and that was evident uh, early on. So I think uh, lack of preparation, I think. Um, they just flat out beat us today. They, were, they played better. They were the better team today. He's met in the backfield by three white jerseys, loss of two yards on the play. Well, I think there needs to be fire throughout the whole team. I, you know, I didn't, uh, myself, I, I didn't have a fire tonight to, to be the leader I need to be. And, um, you know, I think that just needs to happen across the board. Alexander, the 45, stiff arming his way inside the 40, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. You just got to learn to focus up all phases of the ball. I mean, they, they won everything. Defense, they won special teams they were they were dominating there so I mean we just gotta learn going each week and just focus up we can't overlook any opponent and that's what showed tonight. Jensen to throw far side out incomplete defended by Momo Thomas a senior from Kissimmee Florida. This one in the beginning man they punched us in the mouth from the beginning and we weren't able to bounce back. Um, good team we played against a good team great teams like that you, you can't um, you know come out slow like that you know, we just got to prepare better and bounce back. First down and more at the 40. Broken tackle, 35, push the pile down to the 30-yard line. Uh, I just felt like we couldn't get in a rhythm. You know, we were we were off off the field for so long, we, we just couldn't get anything going. And 
you know, they played a hell of a football game. You got to give them credit. So. Again, a look inside that Ram locker room. Certainly disappointed, but certainly know that the rest of the season is in front of them. All right, we'll take a timeout. When we come back, Shaquille Barrett, one of the stalwarts of that Ram defense. We'll have a package on him coming up next. Stay with us here on the Ram Report.